Dan Trevisani, Common Council President Runner here in Utica. And uh, welcome to the show, Dan. How are you? Welcome. How are you? Good. Uh, did You didn't watch the debate because you were busy with your own debate last <laughs> yes, night. I was, yes. It was Our Lady of Lords, and it, it was fun. It was a good time. The uh, South Utica Neighborhood Association, and uh, at that location you just mentioned, you against your opponents, Michael Galimi and Frank Miola. How would you feel it went last night? It was nice. It, it really was. I mean, there was some very, um, um, everybody basically had the same questions, you know. It was about the infrastructure. It was, you know, it was a question about the downtown hospital. Mm -hmm. How are we going to pay for the, you know, how are we going to pay for certain things? Are we going to implement fees? Uh, what are we going to do with the not-for-profits, you know? So there was a, a wide range of questions, you know. But my, my big thing, again, my big thing yesterday, what I tried to get across is, is the blight. I, I really think the city, the city has a big issue on blight. It is. The city's blighted. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the neighborhoods, the, the, the viable neighborhoods, the neighborhoods that families and, 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 and people want to buy and stay and reside for years, they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You have a small area in South Utica. You have a small area in Upper East Utica. You have an area in, in and then you have North Utica. Mm -hmm. But there are areas of the city that you drive through that are still after years, are very blighted. And that's, that was my major concern. That's what I tried to get across yesterday. Yeah, new apartment complex coming to uh, the area around the odd there, too. What are your feelings on that's that? That's what they say. I'm, mm -hmm. I don't, I, again, I know nothing about what type of apartments are they going to be. Um, is it, I mean, to be honest with you, if it's behind the auditorium, between the auditorium and the railroad tracks, I don't know why you would put a, an apartment complex there. Um, to be honest with you, it should be business. I mean, why don't we why don't we go for something that's similar to what they had in New Hartford? How about put a, how about a movie theater in mm -hmm. another hotel behind the auditorium mm -hmm. and, a, and attach a conference center? I, I mean, that, that that's what I look at. You know, that's to me that's more commercial. That's business. You got the the Utica Comet organization did a phenomenal mm -hmm. job. You go into that auditorium and yes. you feel big city. Mm -hmm. Yes, you feel big city. It gives you a sense of pride. It yeah. really gives you a sense of pride. I like to take those people and move them to the city hall for a few weeks. In my opinion. Opinion. Right. I mean, because I mean, if they can do it in a year, why can't we? Why can't we do this something similar in the city? Why can't we drive up the the, the people that that run the city, the elected officials, get up every morning? If you see a bag of trash on the curb in the morning, in my opinion, it should be picked up within the hour. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You shouldn't drive by three days later and see the same bag of trash on the curb. That that's how I look at the city. Take some pride, and you mentioned the area down there, which is the former Washington Courts area. And uh, I think you make a good point, maybe more conducive to the neighborhood in which it's already, you know, uh, really feeling that the, the idea behind it is more industrial. Uh, you know, some of those businesses are starting to pop up around there. But I think what their idea is there, uh, they've touted it as a fair market value uh, apartment. So uh, not the higher end, but something that maybe the average middle class can uh, can afford. Well, they're in loft apartments, okay? That's a certain type of person you're going to get there. Mm -hmm. Maybe not with a family. You may get a couple. You may get a single person moving into the area. Um, um, you know, stick with that concept. It's working. I mean, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not going to move my family behind the auditorium, mm -hmm. and I don't know who's going to. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, great thought. Great. I would look at it. Don't turn anything down. Look at it. But, hey, may, if not there, maybe he wants to go somewhere else. I mean, I'm sure we probably can fit some. I mean, we definitely need some some conducive housing here for, for again, couples, families, you know, people that want to move in the city and stay. We definitely can use some more uh, fair market value of apartment housing. Is, but, is the hospital located downtown going to help or hurt that particular goal that you're talking about well, right there? Uh, well, listen, hospital is a whole different animal. Uh, first of all, we need transparency. Number one. What's going to go out to nursing school? Is it going to go down there? Mm -hmm. What's going to go out to go down with the residency program in St. Elizabeth? There's a residency program there. Are they going to go down there? Mm -hmm. These are all great questions. These are okay. actually questions I, I was I, asking I, I, uh, some friends that worked at the hospital yesterday if they knew it. Utica College. Mm -hmm. They have their nursing program is conducive at St. Louis across the street. What are they going to do? Mm -hmm. Are they also going to? Are all three schools going to? Um, uh, do their curriculums or have their curriculums in that hospital in downtown? Now, I am definitely for. A downtown hospital. Where is my issue? Now, you got to remember, you put a hospital on Columbia Street. You have ambulances. You have sirens. You have businesses now downtown. You have people coming downtown to see the comments, mm -hmm. correct? These ambulances have two routes. Where are their routes going to be? They're going to be Varick Street and Genesee Street. You're right. going to have ambulances all day long with one emergency room in this area going all day long on Genesee Street and down Varick Street if you're coming uh, via, via the, the Westway, okay? So now, again, I am not against the downtown hospital. I am for one, but where? Would I, to be honest with you, transparency. 
did we look at downtown West? Did we look at the old psych center? Mm -hmm. The old psych center, 20 years ago, my opinion, we blew it. SUNY College, that would have made a tremendous SUNY campus right there. Mm -hmm. Pulling up to see those pillars, which are the largest pillars in the world outside mm -hmm. of Greece, okay? Yeah. That would have made a tremendous campus. Now, again, I'm newer to the area. You're talking about Old Main? Is that what yes, you're talking about? Yes, the Old Main okay. building, mm -hmm. would, uh, again, mm -hmm. back then would have made a tremendous mm -hmm. campus at, at, at the backsides, Utica College. I mean, you couldn't mm. have made a better campus. But you know what? Hey, how about a medical campus? Mm -hmm. Why not? Now we have this beautiful arterial. Yep. You pull off of both sides, north-south. Where does it end up? One block, downtown west. It's Good still point. downtown area, mm -hmm. downtown west. You could take an entire campus and make it. But again, they may say they looked at it. I don't know that. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody knows that. We need transparency. That's all I heard so far was Columbia Street. Mm -hmm. We're going to take down a few blocks. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to make it into a hospital. I also heard a seven-story parking garage. I don't know. Uh, uh, again, transparency. I would like to see, did they look at other locations? I know they said St. Luke's in New Hartford. I'd rather see downtown. I don't want to see St. Luke's in New Hartford, to be honest with you. I want to see downtown. Again, if you close St. Luke's, monster building. If you close St. Elizabeth's, right. monster building. What are you doing? What <laughs> are we doing with these buildings? Are they going to be medical schools, possibly? Again, you know, there's, there's just questions that need to be answered. I definitely am for a downtown hospital. You're listening to Dan Trevisani running for Utica Common Council President on the Talk of the Town, 100.7 FM, WUTQ. And one of the other gentlemen running for uh, Common Council President, Mike Gleamy, we had him in last week and talking about the issue uh, he, we asked him, you know, what uh, what the Common Council uh, could do if you were in that presidency uh, seat. What do you think the Common Council can do as far as trying to help determine or trying to look at what downtown locations may be? Do you think that it is a, a vital role for you to be involved in that process? Oh, absolutely. I, I think ab absolutely. I mean, I mean, I mean, we set the pace. The, the downtown. I mean, the, the council sets the pace mm -hmm. for the city. It really does. And again, I, I I love to go back to the Utica, Utica Commons organization because mm -hmm. you know I've worked in that auditorium. When I was the fire marshal, I used to go to the auditorium and, and just shake my head and say, "Why isn't you know that it's such a tremendous asset? Why aren't they doing anything more than what they are right now?" And look at what they did in one year. It's just tremendous. So yes, they can. This body of, of of, of ladies and gentlemen can set the pace mm -hmm. and I think that we need it is very important to not only be have a lot of transparency to see what you know answer those simple questions about the nursing schools but we need to really look at that large the last uh, uh, large piece of property in Utica which is owned by the state already all off the tax rolls mm -hmm which is the old Psych Center property. Mm -hmm. Have you ever taken a tour of there? I, I have not, but I, I, I want to. I've heard all about it. Uh, we actually had a, we had a band yeah. in, actually, oh. in studio last week. They call themselves the Old Main. They're, they're very good. And I, <laughs> I, they're very good, actually. But, no, Great. I've heard all about this facility. We've talked about it from a historical aspect with the, some of the other experts we've had on it. sounds fascinating to me. Well, I mean, I mean think about it. The mm -hmm. state, what, I think they create, what, one job there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. There's something sitting in there watching mm -hmm. some records or, or whatnot. I'm not right. sure about that. Yeah, but, pretty much state but, records. But, uh, but, I mean, you have this, this, this beautiful facility, and, mm -hmm. and I think that's all that's marked there. You go and see X's on these beautiful buildings. You see X's. They want to take them down. Okay, you're going to take them down. Now what? Mm -hmm. Now you have a vacant piece of land, again, in the middle of a blighted area, okay, a blighted area, sure. next door to one of your pristine colleges, right. Utica College, another tremendous facility that's doing a tremendous job, yeah. okay? Yeah. So what do you do with that property? Good point. Hey, medical complex. Mm -hmm. Guess what? All those houses in front of it. You got a school on the side of it. Mm -hmm. It's all, it, listen, you you build, they will come. Right. That's the way I feel. And, and at that location, you still would get the $300 million because it would still be built in the t city of Utica, so. Uh, and listen, I'm assuming, but mm -hmm. again, those are the questions that need to be answered. I don't know. Okay. They, they gave me, I read in the paper, we need two choices. We have We have Columbia Street. And we have New Hartford. Mm -hmm. Which one do you want? Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, if you pick New Hartford, you're you're oh, you're going against Utica because you're picking New Hartford, and you lose mm -hmm. and you lose yeah. the money, too. Well, <laughs> right? and you're going to lose the money, mm -hmm. right? But no, that's not the point. Mm -hmm. The point is, you want it in downtown. You want to bring the people downtown. You really do. You want to bring the doctors and the nurses. I think it'll be phenomenal having a medical complex downtown. Again, location. You got to think of those little things. And, and people, don't forget about those sirens. All day long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Uh, Dan, uh, in, for folks that uh, may not know about you, and I don't know as much about you as I should, but you mentioned your previous work as the, the fire chief, the, or excuse me, the uh, the fire marshal. W what are, a little bit more about your background quickly. Well, the fire marshal for the city. That's how I retired, and I mm -hmm. just did all the public safety investigations for the fire when, at, at the end of my um, 
um, career there, you know, and, and I had a great career, career at the fire service, but it also allowed me to find out, you know, really look at the inner workings of the city. I mean, I mean, you know, I know about the budgetary processes. I know where to find money. I mean, I can get money out of public safety right now without costing one job mm-hmm. or, 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 or determining one pub, uh, public safety or um, hurting our public safety at all. I can find money in there somewhere that we may be able to take out to use for possibly, I don't know, that's maybe another garbage pickup fee. Mm-hmm. Or you follow me? And, mm-hmm. and I always say garbage because I'm big on that. And I always ran on the, I'm a guy that runs on the blue bags. Mm-hmm. You know, the blue bags, let's trade them in for, to- for totes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Same thing. If we have to go out and buy a blue bag, why can't we just pay the fee and get a tote like they do in other communities? They do it all around us. They do it in Rome. Mm-hmm. They do it in Ilian. They do it in Frankfurt. Give us a tote. I think this city, this city is not compatible with blue bags. We have too many poor and we have too many elderly. Elderly okay. don't drive. They can't get out and buy a blue bag. The poor they can't afford the blue bags. Okay. Guess what? It doesn't work in a city as ours. It will work in these small pockets of neighborhoods such as South Utica, East Utica, North Utica, you mm-hmm. know. But you go to the other air, air, uh, areas, and what do you see? You see houses filled with garbage. You mm-hmm. want to know how I know that? Because I was the fire marshal. I, yeah. I used to inspect these houses and see where the garbage was and say, well, why is all this garbage in here? Well, guess what? We're not buying blue bags. Right. Mm-hmm. 